Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter reviews stuff, all kinds of stuff. And today is my favorite things. Part two. Uh, every week on Fridays, I will be posting a My Favorite Things video on this channel. Um, partly because back in the day, I loved the Oprah My Favorite Things. You get a car, you get a car, and nobody's getting a car on this channel. But anyway, um, so I wanted to kind of do my own version of that, of things that I have been using that week, or things that have been my favorites for a while, things that I could really stand behind and say, I believe in this product, I've reviewed it. It's not the shoe dazzler shoe crap that I reviewed yesterday. This is a seller. So anyway, today's video is going to be about beauty, food, and cleaning items. But going forward, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to specifically every week pick three to five items within some certain genre, see? So like one week might be all food items, and that will probably be pretty easy for me because I like food because I'm a chunky monkey. But uh, then I might do all cleaning items, all colognes, all women's perfumes that I've smelled on my friends, things like that. So every week I'm going to be doing kind of a different genre, <laughs> anyway. So let's get right into this video. And the first thing in the beauty kind of category, this is a pageant, this is a review pageant, okay? And I am the winner. I've always wanted to win a pageant, so just put the crown on my head. But the first thing is uh, these amazing readers that I got. Now, if you're my age, okay, one of the things that literally happens overnight like that, that was... I'm sick and I can't snap. But anyway, so one of the things that happens as you get older is that you start needing to have reading glasses. Well, many of us do, okay? And I fought it and I fought it and I fought it. And the last time that I went in and I got my prescription on my uh, for my eyes, I said to you know, my doctor, I said, do you think I need reading glasses? And she was like, yeah, do you want me to tell you like what you are? So I'm 1.25, that's my glass, my reading glass range, which is kind of lower, it's not super high, it's not like I need a magnifying glass to see the letters. But I, it's still, I need it. it. It helps me read. I don't need it. But if I don't, I was looking for a menu. <laughs> like I'm at a restaurant. Peter, well, I'm at a restaurant all the other times. So um, anyway, but I have to like hold a menu out like this, you know, and I've become my dad and it's embarrassing. So I've been looking everywhere for readers. Well, I was talking to my good Judy Tanya about it. She's like, well, why don't you just go to the Meyer? Then I talked to my cousin Caroline. She's like, well, I get all of mine at, at Costco and they're real cheap. They're $30. $30 for some readers. You could go get them at Walmart for $6, but they're ugly. It's sin and donut. Nobody want to wear them, right? So listen, I'm a very sociable person, okay? And I like to look fashionable. I mean, don't we all? I mean, look, can't you tell? Anyway, I like to look fashionable when I go out, okay? Not on video, maybe, because I'm lazy. But when I go out, and I wanted some fashionable reading glasses. So I got online, true story, I got on the Google, okay? And I put in fashion reading glasses. And look what came up. These are real cute. Do you see these, like, kind of horn room glasses? Now, let me tell you why these are my uh, favorites. Not to mention that they are absolutely fantastic, and I can now, like, see all over the table. I could read, listen, I could read, I could read you for filth on this table right now. I can see everything across the table. And one of the things I can see is my husband's vision board that's right over there, and he does, uh, my name is on the vision board, but all good things. So anyway, um, but the reason why I love these so much was, was that they were $9.99, for two pairs, and you got a black pair, and you got a tortoise uh, sh a shell colored pair. $9.99 on the Amazon, fantastic. So I'm gonna link these um, in my Amazon shop, you can go check them out. I'm probably gonna use them for, through the review because I might need them a little bit. But aren't they cute? I love them. I got these pair, and then I got a pair of that are like kind of Ray-Ban looking, but those are not my favorite. So. I will put these below, but if you're looking for readers, the other thing is, I did find a pair that I really liked at Fresh Time, but now that I found these for the price, the price is right, okay? Planko, okay. The next thing I want to talk about is, my husband knows that I love lip balms and lip plumpers. So, what do you get somebody that loves lip balms and lip plumpers for Christmas? Well, you get them lip balm and lip plumper. So, he called his good Judy that lives out in L.A., and ask her what her favorite was, and he brought, he got me these very nice high-end Dior products. And the first one is, I want to make sure I get, <laughs> don't poke your eye out! The first one is the Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm, okay? And let me tell you what is so interesting about this. And the other one is the Lip Maximizer, I think is what it's called. Lip Maximizer, yeah, Lip Plumper, okay? And it doesn't, it's not tingly or anything like that. 
<clears throat> Let me tell you uh, what is so interesting about this. Like, can you see it? That's basically right there. See, I'm a, I'm a booty guru right there. Okay. What is interesting about this is that if you've never seen it before, it looks like a candy cane on the end. Can you see that? Candy cane. Oh my God, I love that movie, Joyride. But I didn't want to put it on because I don't know if you can see it, but it's like red. It's like uh, reddish pink and red. And I was like, well, I don't, like, thank you, Alex, for these very high-end products. But I don't want something that's going to, like, put, like, I mean, I'm not into wearing lipstick. That's just not my thing. If that's your thing, hey, you know, more power to you. But I don't. I just like a lip balm, right? And he said, well, it matches your natural lip tone. Lip tone. Lip tone? <laughs> it's a lip thing. So anyway, but true story, it does. <coughs> now, I've been fighting a cold. Mmm, it's fantastic. <coughs> I've been fighting a cold for over a week now. So I apologize for all the coughs and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, yes, ma'am. Say hi, your, your moms and all that. Okay. But then the lip maximizer is the same thing. And if you look, can you see... It's like kind of like this nudish red color. And when you pull it out, it looks the same color on there. But it doesn't go. Ooh, I feel my lips growing already. <laughs> but it doesn't go on there like that. So it's absolutely fantastic. I have no idea what the price point is because it was a gift. The next thing was a gift as well. And this has become my favorite beauty product of 2018. Okay, We're, I'm going to still use it in 2019, but this was my favorite beauty product of 2018. And L. Leary from L. Leary Artistry sent this to me. And I will link her channel below. She is so fantastic. She is such a, just a blessed soul. I love her. She is so nice, so kind, and I'm so proud to call her one of my friends. She's just the coolest chick. And, um... She's always sending me products, right? And she sent me this. I had never heard of it. And it is Alpen Beauty. Now, it's something about line fill-ins, fill-in line, or something like that. Uh, Plant Genius Line Filling Eye Balm. Now, let me just tell you, okay? If y'all don't believe that I've been using this, she literally sent this to me like two weeks ago. Look how much of it is gone. Can you see? Can you see? Okay. Look at all that. I have used so much of that. Can you even see? Like, see how far my finger goes in? Ha! <laughs> okay. But anyway, waste not, want not. But this stuff is so fantastic. I use it every night, and I use it every morning. And you can use it. Like, I was talking to somebody about this at Sephora, which I don't think that they have it at Sephora because I was talking to her about it. She's like, we don't have it at this store. But anyway, they don't have anything at Sephora anymore. I go to the Ulta. I used to not like the Ulta, but now I love the Ulta because they have more stuff. But anyway, she said she wears this underneath her makeup. So this stuff is fantastic. Fantastic. Favorite eye cream of ever. What's going on with this shirt? Okay. All right, so the next thing, speaking of chunky monkeys, let's get into the food. Okay, now I adore hummus. As you know, I'm a vegetarian, and I love, 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 love. <coughs> These are a few of, bring it down. These are a few of my favorite things. Okay, so I love hummus. It's like one of my favorite foods of life. So the other night, Alex and I were watching TV, and he was like, I got singing so hard I started to dribble. Okay, so he said, let's go like get some treats and stuff. So I went to the Meyer and I got us all treats. I was like, what do you want? He goes, I want some hummus. Well, he will only eat, because my husband is a creature of comfort. He will never try anything different. The only one he likes is the Sabra, Sabra roasted red hum uh, pepper hummus, okay? You guys have probably all, have you all had this? It's fantastic. But it's just your basic run-of-the-mill hummus, okay? It, yes, it's good, but it's not that good. So I'm there, and I'm always wanting to try something different. See, I always want to try something different. Please hold. And I noticed that they have this one that was called Taco. Not Taco Hummus. No, ma'am. Not Taco Tico. No, uh, no, girl. Not Taco Tuesday, but Taco Inspired Hummus. So can you even imagine a hummus so motivated, so inspired? Inspired to be like a taco that it's not a taco it's hummus but i got it and i was kind of sketchy about it but it was fantastic five stars all the way i don't have it because i ate it all it's in the trash and our trash went out today but it's called the it's a sabra so i think it's sabra don't y'all think it's sabra i think it's sabra sabra taco inspired hummus you want to get it trust me okay it tastes like beans inside of a taco. It is fantastic. It doesn't taste so much like Taco Bell. It tastes like, do you remember when your mom would make tacos for dinner at night? I hated it. That was like the worst. One. I hated that. I hated that and like leftover meatloaf. But anyway, tacos at home and your mom would be like, guess what? It's taco night. I have so many of my friends that love taco night at home. And I just always thought, can't we just go through Taco Bell? It's cheaper and they taste better. Okay. So anyway, taco inspired Sabra. You, or Sabra, you want that. 
Then the next thing is something that I have been eating since I have been on my new diet, okay, which I'm on this weight loss journey. Go check out my blog. Oh, by the way, my husband and I, we started a very new, yeah, it's two pictures up there already, <clears throat> couple's Instagram, at Peter and Alex. I will link it below. And we also did a Q&A on my uh, Peter Mon channel. But in like three days, we've already reached, this is one of my favorite things of the week, like over 1,300 followers on it. So cool. So anyway, I am on a weight loss journey because, well, basically I, I need to be an Instagram hottie, okay? So by the summer, I need to be an Instagram hottie. And what that means is that when you're an Instagram hottie, you take your shirt off and you do a lot of like couture poses, okay? And then you like sit there and you like sit up against the brick wall with your shirt off and you go like this. And then everybody's like, who is that guy? Like, yeah. So for that, I have to be on this huge weight loss journey, which is why I got a trainer and all this kind of stuff. So one of the foods that I can have because <coughs> I'm eating high protein, low calorie, low fat, low everything, nothing fun. But one of my favorite things that I can have are these Baby Bell cheeses. Have you seen these? They're expensive as hell. They're like, okay, uh, at the grocery store, at the Kroger, they were like six something. They were $1.50 less at the Meyer. So now I go to the Meyer and get them, and I love them. I can just eat right through them. But my favorite are the light ones that I think are 30 calories. And the regular ones are 50 calories, and they have all kinds of flavors. Now, I will tell you, do not get the Gouda, okay? The Gouda ain't good. It is The Gouda ain't Gouda. It is horrible. It's nasty. It don't even taste like Gouda. But I did try the white cheddar, and let me just tell you, oh, my God. Now, I'm going to try to do this on video, but it might take me five minutes because one of the things I don't love about these is that they're very difficult to get out. But let me tell you what is so much fun. I love food that is also fun. And when you open it, you get this. Listen, it's kind of like this little treat that you get. Have you ever seen these? These are fantastic. They are expensive, I'm going to tell you right now. But then if you follow directions, which you should always follow directions. I didn't follow directions in high school. That's why I barely graduated. I get through a whole test, and then I find out, like, the whole test was just to, like, you know, test if you followed limit or followed rules. And the test would be, like, put your name on the test, and I wouldn't have put my name on the test. Or, you know, something stupid like that, because I didn't follow rules and directions. I, anyway, so here's what you do. If you follow the rules and the directions of the cheese, the cheese comes out like this, and then look, it's like Pac-Man. I love this so much. No, but really, it is really that good. So then you take the wax out. Mmm, and you eat said cheese. It's delicious. And they're a high in protein food. My fitness pal always tells me that every day when I eat them. So go check those out. The low cal, or the low fat, the regular one. What are those other ones called? Light. The light, the regular, and the white cheddar. The white cheddar, is that what this is? White cheddar. Mm. Delicious. Delicioso. Deliciosa? Delicioso. I wish my husband was here. Okay, now let's finish this off with the cleaning products. And I also have my least favorite. Am I at 17 minutes? True story. I also have my least favorite product of the week, okay? Now, let me just tell you, these are two of my favorite things in the entire world. Now, we used to have a housekeeper. We don't anymore. But when we did, he was so fantastic. And one of the things that he, like, found for me, like, to use, because we have tons of wood in our house, as you can see. Like, this is a wood table. I, like, went up like this, like you can see. <laughs> anyway, this is a wood table, okay? It's, like, this huge, long dining room table that we use as our desk. We have wood chairs. We have wood, everywhere in this house is wood. Before, I was using just a regular duster. And what I hated about that was that it would get really shiny, okay? Now, a lot of you out there are like, Peter, we already know this product. This is nothing new. No, this is nothing new. This has been a product that's been around for ages. But it is Pledge Duster, okay? But this is all multi-surface. You can put it on uh, sealed granite, metal, finished wood, glass, and electronics. And this one, and it's two-in-one cleaner and disinfectant. This is three times better removal of dust and messes. Okay, so this one is like apple, and this one is citrus. And I love them both. They're both fantastic. And what I love about them is they don't leave a shiny thing once you do them. It's just like dry and clean. Excuse me. And they're fantastic. Too much cheese, too much coffee. Peter, you've had it. So anyway, those are two of my favorite cleaning products. The Pledge Multi-Surface. I get these. I, I swear by these. Speaking of cleaning products, <coughs> I didn't put this on my thing last week. I don't believe. Uh, but I am obsessed, hello, and especially because they have seasonal flavors, with anything by Mrs. Myers, this is the hand soap. This is the multi-surface -sur cleanser, I think. Yeah, multi-surface cleanser. I love this. But I will tell you, okay? And somebody sent this to me, which was very gracious. It was a gift. And you can see I've used, like, literally the whole thing. There's nothing left in it yet. They also sent us the hand soap. 
and they also sent us to dishwashing detergent. But this is pumpkin scent from the fall. I will say it was not my favorite. I did not love the pumpkin scent. The thing is, they, they're actually, like when you smell the smells, like pumpkin or whatever they have, or lavender, it smells like pumpkin or lavender. Did I already do this on this video? I feel like I did. Well, I love it so much I'm doing it again. It smells like what you would smell in the garden. So this smells like actual pumpkin, like you cut open a pumpkin and then you smell it on there. Go back and see my How to Carve a Pumpkin video on my review channel if you want to. But, so it's kind of a little funky smelling, but the rest of theirs I love, and this one is pine, I believe, or it's called something else. Iowa pine, yeah, and this is fantastic, and this is the uh, hand sanitizer, or hand uh, sanitizer, hand soap. Now they have foaming hand soap that I noticed when I was at uh, the store the other day. You can get this at Target, you can get this at Meyer, you can get this at, I don't know, everywhere. I've seen it everywhere. And they have seasonal flavors, so I'm sure they're coming out with, now, probably their spring flavors real soon. The last thing is something that I've actually had for a while. Now, <coughs> this will not be the first or the last time that a room spray makes it onto my video. But this one was something that I just randomly brought one, bought one night without with my good Judy. And it is the clay, the clay, it is the Glade Patchouli Amber. Here it is. And, um, you know, when I bought it, I kind of smelled it in the store and I was like, Alex will hate this because it smells very kind of like woodsy and kitcheny and things like that. Oh, I love it so much. It is so nice. And let me just tell you, it smells like, you know, okay, so, you say you're going to meet somebody for a day at a bar, and it's this bar, and like, let's say, like, you know, like, I don't know, like, a side street in Chicago, and you walk in, there's a huge fireplace, and it's snowing outside, and it's a blizzard, and you're like, we're supposed to go out to dinner, and you, like, dress real nice, and then you get there, and they're like, do you want to go to dinner? And they're like, why don't we just stay here, and we should just cozy up next to the fire. That's what it smells like. It's fantastic. So anyway, all right. My cough is getting to me. The last thing that I have is the thing I do not like. And every week I'm gonna do one product on here that I think is absolute crap that I don't think that you should ever buy. And let me tell you what it is. I bought it like a month and a half ago at the a suggestion of my a vet. And I think it's absolute crap. And it is the Tropiclean Fresh Breath Drops for Pets, okay? Now, my dogs don't have very good teeth, okay? I will tell you right now, if you got a puppy, take good care of your teeth for your dogs. Not, well, and yours too, I guess. But it lengthens the life of your dog, number one. Number two, okay, you won't have problems as they get older. And like, we are trying now to take care of our dog's teeth, but it's kind of like a little too little too late. But our vet is helping us and assisting us. It's also very, costs, it costs a lot to fix elderly pets' teeth if they have any left. And you can't get dentures for dogs. I wish we could. <coughs> but anyway, so she suggested we get this. And what you do is, you put a couple drops of this in the water, and then supposedly their breath is supposed to smell fantastic. No, it's nasty, okay? It doesn't change your breath one bit. This thing is total junk. Do not buy it. It is total crap, and it is called the Tropiclean Fresh Breath Drops for Dogs. It doesn't work. It is crap, okay? Don't buy it. Throw it in the trash. Give it away to a good girlfriend. Tell her her breath stinks, and she needs it, okay? But I'm telling you, it doesn't work for dogs, and I bet it don't work for humans. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed my review today. This was really fun. I love doing the My Favorite Things videos. I have another product tomorrow that I am reviewing. I do not believe, is it an acid on TV thing? Hmm, glamour shots, I don't know. But anyway, I'll be back tomorrow with another product review. I love you guys, and I will see you then. Bye.